What's going on, you guys? This is Andrew Roboto, 2021 here, and welcome back to Five Nights of Warriors McDonald's 3, where we will be take, continuing on with Night 5 and Part 2 of this gameplay. So without further ado, we will continue on Night 5, and let's see what else is for us. So I'm hopefully going to beat in this video because it's hard as hell. But we'll see. Ashley and War uh, Yoshi, I gotta remember that. Okay, which camera do I gotta check? There it is, okay. How to deal with the characters because it's been a while since I last played this game. Because I haven't been able to make videos for colors because how busy I've been. Just, I do apologize for that. Just been busy with life and whatnot, so yeah. I gotta, I gotta refresh my memory. Gotta refresh my memory for this tonight. For Luigi, we have to stare at him. While Luigi, we have to put the camera up. And then for Wario, we have to just bang on the window. And then Yoshi, we type in the word toy, and we just throw it at him when he gradually starts to wake up. And then for Ashley, you got to wind up the music box. All right. Glad I refreshed my memory. And then I'll check Camp 5 from time to time. To see who's coming, because whoever, whichever character leaves Camp Five, whether it's Wario, Waluigi, or Luigi, then we have to go to the the corresponding tube. Okay, Yoshi's going Betty by. Same with Ashley. Okay, Luigi's gonna be coming first, so we gotta go to Tube Three. Yep. too much because later in the night Mario will start to fade in more frequently. Okay, Wario and Waluigi, they're coming up next. Okay, now to deal with Yoshi. And now Ashley. Okay. Okay, Luigi's coming up next. I'm making sure to check the camera so I don't get screwed over. Okay, Luigi. Yep, here he is. Okay. Right, let's just throw the, throw the toys at Yoshi. Okay, so 3 a.m. is where Mario starts to starts to become a threat. As you noticed. Okay, so I'm checking the cameras. There we go. 
Wario and Waluigi, they're at they're gonna be they're at the entrance, so they'll be coming. Okay, Wario's here. Waluigi and Luigi are gonna be coming next, so I gotta get ready to deal with them. Okay, Waluigi. And now I gotta deal with Luigi. Okay, got Ashley. Okay, Luigi's still at the entrance. Okay, so good. So we have time to deal with Yoshi and Ashley, so that's good. Okay. Wario's coming, though. So let me go deal with Yoshi real quickly. Pound on the window. There you go. Luigi. There you go. I gotta be aware of Mario, because later in the night, Mario gets crazy. Okay, now to deal with Yoshi. Okay, checking the camera for Wario. Doing well so far. We're at 5 a.m., thank God. Okay, Wario's coming. I gotta deal with Ashley. Alright. Up. Oh. Bang on the window. Waluigi's coming next. I just dealt with Wario. <clears throat> okay, Yoshi. There we go. Waluigi. Yep, I saw you. There we go. Got rid of Waluigi. Good. Ashley, deal with her. And we beat night five. My god, that was so stressful. I will tell you that. And I and, and surprisingly I only died once in this video. Do we have a cutscene? Let's see. What was that? Oh, looks like Wario's friends have been killed. There's Wario, Waluigi, Mario, Luigi, and Peach. What the hell? I think that's Waluigi's line. Okay. What the hell happened here? Sorry if my if my impression of the, the Mario characters are bad. I do apologize. Long story short, this guy we were trying to get actually broke the play area and got himself killed. Well, at least you got him. Kind of. God, who the hell turned on Discord light there? Oh, it's Rosalina. Oh, no, you don't. And Rosalina is sending their, their souls back in time. That's what she's doing. She's sending them through a portal back in time, just like in Final Fantasy Warriors Origins. The souls of Wario and the gang. Up oh, there's Ashley. And Rosalina sending Ashley back in time too. February 19th. Oh, it's just going back in time. Okay, from February 19th. To, from February 19th to January 5th. Okay. Bad ending. Okay. So that's the bad ending for you. Apparently Yoshi got murdered in that scene. Same with Ashley and like all the others. And like... The McDonald's version of Warrior and the gang saw their past selves apparently getting murdered. Okay. So that's the bad ending. We will definitely be going for the good ending in the next couple videos. We will go for the good ending. But let's check out what we unlocked. Okay. So there is a custom night, and then we unlock the extras. Let's take a look at the extras.
All right, so we got the characters and their descriptions. Wario. Okay, he is still the owner of Wario's restaurant, but his face was burned off by Bowser, which made him feel more aggression. Waluigi. He is still a pervert, and he is also a bully too. Is Waluigi really a pervert? I mean, yeah, he's kind of a bully like Wario is, because they're the evil versions of Mario and Luigi, as well as the anti-heroes. But is Waluigi a pervert? I gotta Google search that. Because that's a question I struggle with. Like, like how is Waluigi a pervert? Like, how? Well, I'll look it up. I'm gonna look it up on my phone, actually. Which is on the other side of my bedroom, so I gotta, do that. I gotta go get it. Um, what is this? Uh, okay, I gotta look for my phone. Is it? I don't know. I have to turn on the light in my room because to look for my phone because because I obviously can't see in the dark because I always film in the dark just to give the camera better better quality. I found my phone. I do apologize for that. Sorry for if sorry if the camera would quality was bad. I had to turn the light on to find my phone. Okay, let's Google search it. Is Waluigi a pervert? Okay, so apparently he is a pervert. According to the wiki, um, Waluigi is an excessive pervert. Wait, is he really a pervert, or... Or maybe he just looks like it, I don't know. Okay, so this is apparently a theory. Is Waluigi a pervert is apparently a theory. I don't know. I'm 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 baffled whether he's a pervert or not. I mean, yeah, he's a bully like Wario, but is he really a pervert? Okay, next character, Luigi. All right, so for Luigi, he was for Luigi, he was left to rot outside of Wario's restaurant, always feeling cold and was freezing, and now he returns with a rotting skin and deadly eyes. Poor Luigi. Mario. He was very mad at Wario for hurting Peach, so he decides to use his powers well and find someone to take his anger on. For Yoshi. He could smell the food from Wario's restaurant due to the rotting smell of burgers and fries that Thomas Taylor first made. The smell lured Yoshi inside Wario's restaurant and he was killed by Luigi. And then for Ashley, she was a girl who can cast spells and create many magical things, which helped benefit many things from, for Wario's restaurant after coming out of the hospital. She went inside. Wario's... After coming out of the hospital, she went inside Wario's restaurant and was attacked. Edward Coleman, which is the guy I played as, who looks like Mario, actually. He definitely looks, he definitely resembles Mario, just with a black outfit. He was a master at robbery and will do anything it takes to find whatever he is looking for. Max Peterson. Oh, so this is what Max Peterson looks like. Huh. Max Peterson resembles Luigi. Edward Coleman resembles Mario. Max Peterson resembles Luigi. Interesting. Okay. Max Peterson, he was a shy but intelligent man who always looks out for people he cares about and will try to help them on whatever they need. 
Okay, the pieces. Okay, so these are the pieces we have to get in order to obtain the good ending. And once you collect the piece, you must beat the room in order for it to count. If you collect all the pieces except knife 5, then the last piece on knife 5 should appear somewhere. Click on it to get the good ending. Okay. So these are the pieces we have to get in order to get the good ending. Just like we had to do with the music box in Final Fantasy Warriors 3. We had to assemble in order to get the good ending. And then we had to do the same with Final and then for Final Fantasy Warriors Trapped Within, we had to assemble a portal. Alright, so it makes sense. We have some more games. Made by Jeb Yoshi. These are made by Jeb Yoshi's games. Final Fantasy Warriors Return to the Factory. As well as Final Fantasy Warriors Return to the Factory 2 The Macorios. These are Epic Tagies games, which I played most of them. Finance Warriors Cabin Fever, Finance Warriors 3 Customer Edition, I've played those two. I've also played Finance Warriors High Rollers, and then Finance Warriors Trap of Ben. I've not played Finance Warriors Remix yet, or Cabin Fever 2 The End. And then these are Luigi. Lou Gigs 5 scam. Sorry if I pronounced the name wrong. Which, um, looking at which games I've played. The only game I've played so far is Final Fantasy Warriors Switched in Time. I haven't played the others yet. As well as, I haven't played the Five Nights of Luigi's games, or the other Final Fantasy Warriors game, or Bruno Locktrap's Three Revenge. I have not played the others yet. These are Nutel games, as games. Which I don't think, I haven't played any of these, I've, I'm looking at them. It's Finance Warriors, The Twisted Factory, Finance Warriors, Twisted Factory 2, Finance Warriors, The Twisted Factory Memories. Finance Warriors, The Clock, Finance Warriors, Custom Nightmare. Finance Warriors, Rise of the Corruption. Finance Warriors, Fall of the Corruption. Okay. And then these are Justin 0507's games. Finance Warriors, The Return, which I... I think I played that game. I don't remember. And there's Final Warriors TR and Final Fantasy Warriors. Um, a new dot. I think that's what it's called. I can't read it. These two I haven't played, but I played that one game though. And then these are Luigi Aiden's games, which which I'm gonna be playing them at some point. Final Fantasy Warriors, the brand new timeline series. And then these are Mr. Elf's games, which I've only played one of them, which is Those Knights of Warriors 3, Infinite Cycle. I have not played the other two games yet, which are Those Knights of Warriors, Cursed Factory, and then Those Knights of Warriors 2, Unsolved Mystery. And then these are Ray the Rees games. Which I've never played them before. Final Fantasy Warriors, The Abandoned Factory, The Crowned Missile, Final Fantasy Warriors, Switch in Time 2. And then that game was cancelled, I think. And then these are the other games. Final Fantasy Warriors, Powered Up, Better Call Warrior, Final Fantasy uh, smokes, Final Fantasy Warriors, those are the others, so yeah, and then those are just the credits, and 
And of course, this game is made by MLS Financial Warriors, created the Financial Warriors McDonald's series, music and sound effects by MLS Financial Warriors and Priest 189. <laughs> 189. <laughs> Original Financial Warriors games by WWW Warrior himself, voice acting. Edward Coleman is voice acted by Mega, Max Peterson, MLS Finance Wario himself, Richard McCroy, the voice is Priest 189. Custom Night Icons by that Luigi guy, Beta Testers. And thank you for playing. Alright. So there you go. And we'll check out the Custom Night and see what that looks like. Okay, so we have a custom night. So for the custom night, we can just select. We can pretty much select all these rooms to take on. We got the counter, boys bathroom, girls bathroom, trash can, recycle bin, boiler room, hallway, and then the play area. Alright, so we will take on the custom night in the next video. I'm trying to think what I should do. Alright, so we will take on the custom night mode in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button, also comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. Be sure to follow me on TikTok. And hit the bell on there to receive all notifications as well. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.